other day as I was talking to a friend of mine, um, we got into the discussion of, you know, our society today, there's so much heartache, there's so much hate, there's so much pain, so much unhappiness. And really I came to one realization is that people have this very specific problem. And you know what your problem is? The problem that I'm relating to is garbage. We like to hold on to so, so much garbage in our life that, you know, you eventually start feeling like garbage. Because we accumulate so much garbage. What I mean by that is we have the friend and we know he's not a good friend. You know he doesn't have any good influence. He's not influencing you in any type of positive way. You know you probably got that friend and he or she's a hater. But that's your homegirl, that's your homeboy. Y'all been, been friends since junior high. You know you got that bad boyfriend that's probably cheating on you. He abuses you every chance he gets. He doesn't respect you, but you keep him. You scared to start over. You probably got that girlfriend, she treats you like trash. She don't cook for you. She don't care about you. All she want about is the money you bring into the house. Always tripping, always nagging, always screaming. But you still keep her. Because you don't want to lose her. You don't want to start over. You probably think, man, I'll never get another chick as pretty as she is. But this is the problem. But every time you turn around, you feel like trash. You got a cousin. You got a brother. You got a sister. Maybe it's your mother. Maybe it's your daddy. You know what I mean? They treat you like trash. But you still keep them around. And yes, family members too. You have to know when to cut the tie. It doesn't matter. Just because you have somebody in your life that you love does not mean that you have to keep them in your circle to intoxicate your life. A lot of time we're feeling like trash is because we keep a lot of trash in our circle. We have to know when to get rid of people. Start subtracting people out of our life and then you start seeing how good you start feeling. You want peace? Get rid of the trashy people. Get rid of all the negativity. Make space for positivity to come in. Your environment. Sometimes if you have to move, move. If you don't like to be in the ghetto, get out the ghetto, move. Like I said in my last video, it's all about making a decision. It's all about a choice. You can't sit around hoping your life to change without making the necessary steps, taking the necessary steps to change it. You can't expect to feel any better than the way you're feeling now if you're not subtracting the people that are toxic in your life. If you're not getting rid of them, keep them away. Love them from a distance. They don't have to be in your face. I don't care if it's your mommy or daddy. I don't care if it's your brother or sister. I don't care who it is, but that person has to be kept away. If somebody loves you, and I don't care who it is, like I said, if that person loves you, they will do their best not to hurt you. Things happen. People get into arguments. But you got these people that makes you feel like you nothing. And for some reason, a lot of us like, like to keep these people around. And I don't know why. 
What the what is it that define you as a person? Is it those people that you have around you? Or is it the person that you are in here and in here that defines you as a person? Sometimes you gotta ask yourself that. Spend some time alone with yourself and ask yourself, who am I? What defines me as a person? Take that time alone with yourself to figure yourself out because a lot of you guys don't know yourselves. So you settle to be treated like trash. You don't even want to be by yourself. And really, as they say, yourself is the best company you could keep. So if you don't want to be with yourself, you get alone easily. So you keep a whole bunch of people around that don't even belong in your life, that don't even want to be in your life. Of course they don't want to be in your life. Because the people that want to be in your life, they'll know how to treat you. Your mom says she loves you, then she'll know how to treat you. Or your daddy says he loves you, they'll know how to treat you. So on your, 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 your relationship, your spouse, your girlfriend, your, your, your boyfriend, your homeboy and homegirls, all these people claim, who claim that they love you, they'll know how to treat you. But if they're not treating you like you should be treated, at the end of the day, they don't care about you. You need to dump them. Yeah, dump them like trash. Because they are trash. They're making you feel like trash. Something that you don't need in your house is trash. In your circle, this, this is your house. And if you're not maintaining the things that you put in it. And I'm not only talking about food, water, and I'm talking about really the people that are affecting your life, influencing your life. If they're not filling you up with love and affection, then they're intoxicating your life. You don't need that. And that's why you're feeling the way you're feeling. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up. If you want to take one thing out of this and I really ask that you really pay attention to those people that you have around you. Really sit back and think, think about the people that claim that they love you, the people that claim that they care about you. Really think about how they treat you. And if you really have somebody in your life that really doesn't deserve to be because of the way that they treat you, I would advise you, stay away from that person. Don't make time for them. Spend some time with yourself to find yourself. That's the only way to start the process of changing your life and start being happy.